How are you? I'm fantastic. I hope you are yeah. too. I am. I'm doing all right. And you were here like a year ago, I believe, and you announced you're retiring. So you were like, nope, just kidding. <laughs> you're like those musicians that are like, it's my farewell tour, but it's not. It's not. <laughs> no, and I, I, I was thinking about it before I came out, and I knew you were going to ask me about that. And, you know, I don't think, like yourself, I don't think you can ever stop singing or playing no. or being with the band. So I, what I was ready to step away from was the grind of the... 38 races a year that I did for 20 plus years. So yeah. kind of like being out on the road, I guess, for you and, and totally. touring and stuff. Yeah. But now I have uh, have a much shorter schedule for racing and, and having a blast doing it. So for the idiots in the room, what's the difference between NASCAR and Indy? I know I've been to both. I can see there's a difference, but what yeah. is the di like the biggest difference? You know, from an aesthetic standpoint, one's a big sedan vehicle, and then the Indy car is this little lightweight like rocket ship that you drive, and literally the weight of the vehicle um, would make the Indy car like a sports car, and then the NASCAR vehicle would be much more like a, an SUV. So wait, does that make it more or less dangerous? Uh, Danger is probably pretty equal, but the experience in driving the car is much different. The Indy yeah. car uh, takes a lot of aggression, and the, the car doesn't ever give up. Like, you can't hurt the tires, you can't hurt the brakes, mm -hmm. and the intensity is much higher driving it. With a NASCAR vehicle, it's a bigger car. Um, you can wear the brakes out in a race, you can hurt the tires, and you have to finesse it a bit more. Want more fun stuff? I thought so. Check out these videos floating around my head. This one is really cool. I'm just saying. No pressure.